Okay. Hello, my darlings. Happy President's Day. Rocking. Today, we are going to be having codfish cakes, which was a food enjoyed by President John Adams, the first president to live in the yeah, White yeah. House. All right. So. Juanito Adams. Juanito Adams. Juanito Adams. Juanito All right. Adams. So. John Adams, one thing that I admire and one thing that I do not admire. Um, one accomplishment of his that I admire is that he helped negotiate the Treaty of Paris, which ended the Revolutionary War. He was actually quite a skilled diplomat, and um, if you read David McCullough's book about him, you can learn a lot more about that. Uh, one thing that I did not admire about him was the Alien and Sedition Acts, and a lot of people share that opinion. Uh, that was a major faux pas of his, and it very likely cost him a second term. Anyway, let's get to codfish cakes, though. But, you know, that that black mark on his record aside, he really was quite an accomplished founding father, and I do have a lot of respect for him, and also his wife, Abigail Adams, who was likely the person making this lovely meal that we are about to have. All right, happy President's Day. Let's get to it. President. All right, so you are going to peel and quarter three potatoes. about a pound and a half of cod added to this pot. Fill the pot until both are covered with water and cook on moderate heat until the potatoes are tender. In the meantime, beat one egg, drain completely and mash them. Mix the beaten egg into it. Then you're gonna cook them in kind of tablespoon or maybe a little bit larger size uh, patties and you can cook them in butter, that's what I'm doing. It says cook them in fat, and that's probably the way that Abigail did it, but eh, I prefer butter. Bon appetit, we have codfish cakes. And here's the taste test, codfish cakes. Mm. That is damn good. I definitely recommend making them smaller. Mm. But that's good, I like the flavor. All right. This was the dish for our wonderful founding father, John Adams. Happy President's Day, everyone.